Hey everyone, have you ever struggled to make your PowerPoint presentation stand out? I know I have. Today, I'm going to solve that problem for you and show you a couple tricks that helped me out. I'm going to show you how to create a PowerPoint presentation that looks like it was crafted by an absolute pro of a designer. A lot of you have been asking for this full tutorial and format, so I'm gonna dive right in. First things first, we're going to start by setting up our background. You're gonna to wanna to insert a picture and then stretch it to cover the entire slide. And then we're going to right click on the picture and then select format picture. Then we're gonna head over to effects and then we're gonna click 3D rotation. And then we're gonna choose perspective font. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of fun in here. We're going to insert characters that you've got. Mine are some really cool PNGs that I downloaded beforehand. We're gonna move them off the slide and then resize them to be just a little bit smaller. Then we're gonna duplicate the slide. Now, we're gonna to go to the duplicated slide and then we're gonna click the picture again. We're gonna to go to 3D rotation again and we're gonna change the Y rotation to 280 degrees. Then we're gonna shift the picture down to the bottom. We're gonna move our characters up and then place them just above the picture and then insert the inside out to logo and slide it off of the slide. Then we're gonna duplicate the second slide. We're gonna give the characters a slight rotation and then create a little bit of space for the logo as well. Then we're gonna move the logo down and we're gonna make sure we're arranging it really, really nicely here. And then we're gonna right click the logo and send it all the way to the back. We're going to select all the slides and then apply the morph transition just for that awesome and smooth look. We're gonna change the duration of the slide three to just 0.5 seconds to make it look even smoother. Then we're gonna duplicate slide three and we're gonna get rid of the picture entirely. We're gonna rotate and we're gonna adjust each character and we're gonna insert a parallelogram and change its color to match each character's theme. Now, I've got a handy color palette to use right here. We're gonna right click, we're gonna open format shape, then we're gonna click on gradient fill and we're gonna set each gradient stop with a few different colors. For the first stop, let's use a darker color and then for the second, we're gonna choose a little bit of a brighter color. Then we're gonna change the direction to linear down. We're going to remove the outline and we're going to adjust the stops as needed. Now we're gonna duplicate the shape with a command or a control D and then we're gonna fill it with another gradient color. We're gonna make sure we're repeating this for the remaining parallelograms with different gradient colors. Now we're gonna move the shapes to the right and we're gonna hold command or control select all the parallelograms, we're gonna right click and then we're sending them all to the back. Then we're gonna match each character with their color and we're gonna add their intro text. So let's duplicate the slide again. Let's move the first character and parallelogram to the left. Then we're gonna enlarge the next character. We're gonna add the intro text again and keep going for each character. We're gonna shrink and enlarge as needed. Then we're gonna make sure the morph transition is applied to every single slide, again, for that super smooth effect. That's it, that's a wrap. I used inside out characters here, but you can absolutely adapt this for things like team intros, product lists, or process steps. Literally whatever you need. This technique is great, whether you're a student or a professional, it's gonna make you look fantastic. If you found this tutorial helpful, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tips and tricks, and we'll see you next time.